This is homework for week four of foundations and snake training and my primary snake for this assignment, uh, Diamond Carpet Python M14 is starting his ecdesis process. He's in blue and his eyes are clouded over so he can't train this week. And substituting for him is Vedra. She is a two and a half year old jungle carpet python, Morelia spilota chaini. And I'm shift training her. So I'm using the target kind of twofold. I am teaching her to follow the target, but I'm also using it as a cue for her to shift out of her primary enclosure to a temporary holding tub. Once she starts the process of shifting, I do expect her to come towards the target and tongue flick at it. My goal with her at this point is to get her to completely shift out of her primary enclosure. She has a habit of leaving her tail anchored to something in her primary enclosure or to the edge of her primary enclosure or sometimes to her water dish. And so this is the second session I've done with her where I have moved her temporary holding bin quite a ways away from her enclosure and put another bin in between her primary enclosure and the one I want her to shift into. And that's been working to get her to release her tail anchor from her enclosure and shift completely out of it and onto this table and mostly in the temporary bin, although she leaves part of her body on that um, intermediate platform that I have there. At this point in her training, I'm fine with that because at least she has shifted her whole body 100% out of her primary enclosure, which is my goal. Now for this repetition, I'm challenged as a trainer to brainstorm a way to use targeting to shift her back into her primary enclosure. She will follow the target to her enclosure door. However, I'm unable to get the target inside of her enclosure. To the back of her enclosure, I can't put it behind her enclosure because there's no windows in it. So I can only move the target so far which is just there to the edge of her enclosure there to her shift door and so that's all the distance i've been able to target her back to her enclosure and now that she's habituated to being out in the open and she has discovered that there are things about being out of her enclosure that she likes she's no longer fearful of open spaces no longer fearful of me she's not automatically going back into her enclosure right away and so I'm at a point now in her training where I have to brainstorm to teach her a cue to shift back into her enclosure or to figure out a way to be able to get the target in and out of the enclosure. She's obviously going to be getting a larger enclosure down the road and so I may just wait and get an enclosure that I'm able to work better with that has two doors or two openings or definitely an enclosure that I'm able to use targeting to get her back in. Now, about 20 minutes went by between the time when she took that last mouse and I moved her temporary tub next to her shift door. She moved around outside of her enclosure for quite a bit, did some climbing, ended up going back into her tub. And eventually, as you see here, she does shift herself back into her primary enclosure all on her own. 
And that's all fine. And I'm happy for her that she feels comfortable enough to do some exploring and to be out of her enclosure and that this whole process was completely hands off on my part. She clearly sees the target as a cue that she's going to shift out of her enclosure and she's ready before I even get the enclosure door open. And then she will follow and tongue flick and sometimes touch the target with her nose once she has moved from her enclosure to the temporary bin and I give her a food reward. And now she likes to do some exploring in between when we do the first one or two repetitions and when we do the last repetition, which is to get her back in her enclosure. So between the time when she finished her last mouse at her shift door and the time when she actually shifts herself all the way back into her enclosure, about 20 minutes went by. Again, that's fine, but it's not very efficient. And so I do have to brainstorm some other solution for just quicker shifting back into her enclosure.